Hi everyone, this is our We Are Earth concept proposal for Swellen Dam Hospital. My name is Nabila Charles and my team member is Rita Case. So this is our index page with all the topics on that we will be discussing in the presentation. So for context, um, where we were um, challenge problems we came across, function, the questions and verbs we came up with to further aid the challenge, proposal, the idea that will help the hospital's challenges regarding organic waste. Ask nature, we explain our champions and biological strategies we found on Ask Nature. Use a journey map. We created a user journey map that shows the proposal visually and how it would work. And for the last topic, why it works, we explain why our idea works by using the biomimicry life principles. So we came up with the glossary of terms page. The first term is biotic materials and the definition is any material that originates from living organisms. Most of these materials contain carbon and are capable of decay. For example, wood, straw, hummus, manure, bark, crude oil, cotton, spider silk, fibrin and bone. And for our second term, taxonomy, the branch of science concerned with classification of organisms and systems. So we made use of taxonomy when we came up with our verbs and questions for the challenge. So before we move on with the presentation, one has to understand what biomimicry is. So what is biomimicry? Biomimicry is a practice that learns from and mimics the strategies found in nature to solve human design challenges and find hope along the way. So our context is Swellendam Hospital, where we had the pleasure of interviewing three people. Monique Tavit, Dr. Dutoy and Sabu, the caretaker who collects the waste at the hospital. They have three designated sections where they store the waste for collection. In the first image on the left, they have the organic waste section next to the kitchen. The second image next to that is the medical waste section. And the third image at the bottom is the general waste section. Silent Dam Hospital is a very small hospital with only four, 54 beds. When conducting the interviews at the hospital, these are the challenges that stood out to us. There is no separation system in place to take care of kitchen waste as all organic waste is thrown out for pig feed. The lack of food separation is caused by lack of time that the two kitchen staff members have as they have to split the cleaning, cooking, delivering meals and collecting plates between themselves. This is thrown into two broken bins located outside of the kitchen. The hospital also has a lack of resources, which includes wheelie bins that they have been waiting eight years for. So we came up with verbs and questions that best describes our challenge. So for the first question, we came up with was how can the kitchen staff separate the organic waste and with the function we came up with was separation. The second question was how can the kitchen staff make use of the organic waste and with the function we came up with breakdown and our last question was how can the kitchen manage the workload and the function was organizing. Here is a detailed map of our proposal. Our proposal for the hospital is to incorporate a system where nurses bring in plates of food to assist the kitchen staff in saving time to separate the organic waste into two different bins. These bins will contain compost material for a garden that the hospital can make use of to grow their own vegetables. One bin would contain all the cooked meat scraps and bones which will be turned into a usable compost by using Pagashi. This is a brand product that ferments meat and dairy products into nutrient-dense plant food. The second bin will contain all the kitchen's organic waste, which will be turned into a compost heap to fertilize the ground for proper crop growth. In doing so, this will create a sustainable cyclical process in the confines of the hospital, 
where they can reap the benefits of providing fresh veggies for their patients, creating an avenue for teaching the patients how to garden so that they can grow their own food and also create an area where patients can be both relaxed and active. To further explain percussion and its process, Bokashi is an anaerobic process that relies on inoculated bran to ferment kitchen waste, including meat and dairy, into a safe soil builder and nutrient-rich tea for your plants. In the first bin, the cooked food will have bokashi, and this is the process. Kitchen straps of all kinds, including meat and dairy products, Brand from aerobic systems are mixed with some of the inoculated bran, pressed into the Pocashi bucket, covered with another handful of bran and tightly covered. When the bucket is full, it is sealed shut and set aside for 10 to 12 days. Every other day during that time, the liché that is an inevitable byproduct of anaerobic composting needs to be drawn off. When the bucket is opened, the contents, though recognisable, are thoroughly pickled. At this stage, the pre-compost, as one company brochure terms it, can be buried in a fallow spot in the garden. One caution, it is still so acidic that plant roots should not come in contact with it for two to four weeks. So we were making use of the garden at the hospital, as at the moment the garden is used as a smoking area. With that, the second bin will have uncooked foods. The uncooked food will be used for composting in the garden. It will be then used for crop growth, and with that, those crops can feed the patients. The garden would serve as a healthy space for patients, and with that, the patients will recover faster being around nature. The hospital can then collaborate with the Unity Food Garden, and thus creating an educational avenue for the patients and staff to start their own garden at home and grow their own crops for sustenance, with that creating a feedback loops in multiple households. Looking at how nature deals with waste was key for our proposal, especially since a hospital needs to be kept clean at all times. We researched and asked nature and found our three champions. In saying this, we'll be looking at times fungi, and nematodes. So for our first biological strategy, we find our champion, enzymes that break down organic waste. Specific enzymes will help the garden break down organic waste at a faster rate, which will keep the garden area under control at all times. Our second champion we find was fungi that cleans the air surrounding the compost heap. Fungi will assist in keeping the air surrounding compost heaps to a minimum and won't allow for excessive flies and airborne pests to roam the area surrounding the hospital. They will also keep the crops hydrated by converting oils and fatty substances covering organic waste into water. Our final champion we found is natural pest control in nematodes. These will act as natural pesticides to keep away any form of pest from the garden area, which will keep the hospital clear of rats, cockroaches, etc. We created a user journey map based on Sabu, the caretaker. The map shows you how our idea will play out at the hospital. In the first frame, the nurses would bring the dishes out of the respective wards into the kitchen. The kitchen staff would then quickly separate cooked from uncooked foods. Monique, the head in the kitchen whom we interviewed, calls Sabu to collect the organic waste. Sabu arrives and collects the waste. He then takes the organic waste to the garden and adds it to the compost heap. Sabu then turns the compost heap in the garden. And then fast forward three months later, there are fresh crops that are fully grown and they're ready to be eaten and served to the patients. We thoroughly went through our idea and discovered three life principles within our idea. 
These life principles further show how our idea works at the hospital. The first principle is adapt to changing conditions. We ticked all three boxes and the first one is incorporate diversity. Diversity will be found in the crops that the hospital can grow. The second one is maintain integrity through self-renewal. Some of the plants will be able to grow with just a cutlet from another plant which will result in ease of growth. The last one is embody resilience through variation, redundancy and decentralization. With embody resilience, with a variety of plant life, resilience to pests will be maintained by having one plant's pest feed on another plant's pest, keeping them away from the crops. And with decentralization, the patients are more welcome to join in and help out at the garden. The second principle is be locally attuned and responsive. We ticked all the boxes in here as well. The first one is leverage cyclical processes. The organic waste that the patients generate can be used in the hospital. The second one is use readily available materials. There is always organic waste coming from the kitchen. The third one is use feedback loops. The kitchen will be growing their own grown vegetables to feed the patients while also having patients participate in the cultivating of the garden. And the fourth one is cultivating cooperative relationships. Both hospital staff and patients can work together to tend to the garden. And our last principle is be resource efficient. We only tick two boxes under this. The first one is use low energy processes. There is already a system in place to collect the organic waste on a daily basis, so it won't take much time to move the waste to the garden. And the second one is recycle all materials. Organic waste generated by patients will be used as compost to help grow vegetables to use as food for the patients again. And for the last slide, we came up with a list of benefits if the hospital were to use our idea. Having the garden up and running will produce fresh crops for the patients to eat. Composting in the garden also has many benefits. It is a safe and natural way to reduce landfall waste and help crops and plants grow. It may benefit the health of soil and food by increasing the nutrient content especially for patients that are still recovering and need healthy organic foods. Composting may also help people use fewer chemical pesticides and fertilizers, which could have positive health effects for the patients. The garden will also educate staff and patients on gardening and composting and hopefully they will bring that knowledge to their homes. And lastly, the garden will help patients suffering from COVID-19 or any other illnesses with their recovery and well-being. As someone who has suffered from COVID this year, it is tough to be in isolation all the time and can affect you mentally. But I made sure I sat in the sun and breathed in fresh air and that helped me tremendously with my recovery. There are studies that show that gardens in hospitals help patients recover faster from COVID-19. So having a garden up and running and active, yes, swell and down, will greatly benefit the patients. Thank you for listening to our proposal.